Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at Trigger in PowerPoint. Trigger is very essential in PowerPoint as it helps to enhance your presentation. The term trigger mean make something happen. So when you set a trigger in PowerPoint, it causes an action to happen on your slide. To get started, we're going to type the name of two objects in, in this text box above. In the first text box, I will type R. In the second one, I will type truck. Next, I will be formatting these text boxes. Now first, you click on the text box, go to home, and then we're going to fill, fill the shape with color. So we fill the shape, select a color that you will like, and you fill the shape with that color. You can also put on shape effect on it. So I'll go to bevel, and I'll use one of the bevel option here. And I will, Increase the size of the word car and I will center it. I'd go ahead and do the same thing for the text box with truck. I will auto fill it, shape fill, so I'll use purple this time, and I enhance the effect of it by putting on bevel on it. And I will do the same thing by increasing the size of the text and center the word truck. The next thing I'm going to do is to insert the pictures that I want to put in a picture of a car and a picture of a truck. So I go and search my directory for those pictures. I have downloaded those pictures in advance. So let me search for them. So I have the truck here. So I'm going to look for the car just the same way. And I hold on control, select both of them, then I select insert and both will come across. Now that both pictures are inserted on the slide, I need to select both picture, add pictures and add animation to both. So I select, on, select the first one, hold on control to select the second one. Then I go to animation and I select add animation. I will select the one that says float in. Because I want the pictures to float in after clicking car or click and on so my next step is to go about and set up my trigger. So once I click on car, the car should float in. When I click on truck, truck should float in. So how do I do that? I will need to go to trigger. When I go to trigger, I say click on click off. However, when I look over here, I realize that these are names that I don't know. So what I can do to make the process easier is to rename the different text box and pictures. I simply go to home. Go to select and then select pay, selection pane. When I go to selection pane, by simply clicking on the options over here, the image or the text box will be selected. So by clicking on the first one, I realize that picture of the truck is selected. So I can name it so I can easily identify and identify them. So I'll just go through and name them. So I name the first one picture of truck. Then I select the second one. Now it highlighted the word truck. So I will name this one truck. Now I it's rename, I select the other option. Now it's a picture of the car. I will rename that picture of the car. I can move on to the next one in line. So I click on that. Now the word car is selected so I can rename this car. Now that I've finished renaming the different text box and pictures, I can close this window here and go on and set my trigger. So I go back to animation and I click on the picture that I, the first picture, which is a car, and I'm going to set a trigger for it. So the trigger should mean that once I click on a particular word or I click on a particular picture or text box, that means that a car should float in based on the animation that was selected. So I go and I click on car. Now, so that's a trigger has been set. So I click on the truck now, and I'm going to set a trigger for the truck. So I go and click on, on click off. So on the click of the word truck, the truck should float in. Now I am finished setting my triggers, so I go to slideshow to ensure that they work properly. So when I go to slideshow, show, the pointer will turn into a hand. I click on car, the car will float in. I click on truck, the truck will float in. And that's how you use trigger in PowerPoint to enhance your presentation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.